hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm showing you guys the perfect classic summertime peach cobbler if you guys want to see it keep on watching be sure to like comment subscribe and let's get started all right let's take a quick look of the ingredients we have pure vanilla extract lemon juice, nutmeg and cinnamon and salt, cornstarch, whole milk, brown sugar, and of course the peach. We have white sugar. And for today's recipe, we're using self-rising flour. This recipe will come together in no time and we have unsalted butter. Now, to begin, first thing I'll be doing is melting my butter. I have my oven preheating on 350, so I'm going to take half of that butter, place it to my baking dish, and place it in the oven. Once we're done, we're going to add the batter to the melted butter. It's going to be so good, y'all. So first thing first, in a bowl, I am going to pour my flour, half of the sugar, the white sugar and the brown sugar together. We're going to pour that in. Next, we're going to be adding in our cold milk. Make sure the milk is extremely cold, guys. Don't use room temperature milk. Now we're going to whisk that together. Once you have your batter nice and smooth, something like that, you're going to set it aside moving on to the peach. I cut my peaches a little bit smaller and I am going to be adding the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the salt right in the peach with the pure vanilla extra. Pour your lemon juice in there and as well as your cornstarch. Give that a quick stir just like so. All right, now you're going to take your batter, just pour it to your melted butter. It's nice and hot. You can already tell it's doing its magic. I love it. So now I am going to be adding in the peach right in the middle. I know the last peach cobbler that I did, a lot of you guys was like, no, don't add it on top. So I just pour all of the batter this time, okay? And then we're going to be adding in some brown sugar mixed with a cinnamon just sprinkle it on top and we're going to bake this on 350 for about 40 to 50 minutes and once it's done your kitchen should smell like heaven right now the flavor profile on this is absolutely to die for it's like the perfect summer dessert and it's so quick to make. I hope you guys try this out. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this classic peach cobbler recipe as usual. Don't forget to subscribe for more recipes like this one. And I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye guys.